Hi, <laughs> it's Grant. And as many of you are aware, I created a series of videos called Learn English Through Story, where I do something that nobody else does today. I'm sure many of you have seen episode one of Learn English Through Story. And if you haven't, well, here's a link and you can find episode one there. On my page, you can find more episodes. Now, I created a special format because I know this format works and I love working with stories and vocabulary. So the way this format works is that I wrote a story and I wrote it in basic English. The story is a business story. In, this, in episode one, it's about a coffee shop. Well, then I wrote two more stories. The stories are the same. But what I did was I increased the level of vocabulary with each story. So as you read each story, the vocabulary gets much more difficult. I took the time to go through my deep learning method to help you gain your confidence. And what my deep learning method is, I go through and I give you the pronunciation of each vocabulary word that I think is interesting or difficult or hard to pronounce. So I go through and give you the pronunciation of it. I go through and give you a definition of how it's used in a business situation. I give you an example sentence of how you could use this word. I show you how it was used in the story itself. And then I ask you to say all of this out loud. Because when you go through each of these steps in my deep learning method, you gain a lot of confidence. Well, doing that takes a lot of time. I read the stories and I go through all of these vocabulary words. In episode one, that's more than 250 words. That takes a long time. Many of you have come and said you really like these long stories with my deep learning method but you would also like an option where I'd make a video that just goes through me reading and presenting these three stories. Because as you've said, you really like listening to me present these stories. Plus it gives you an opportunity to practice your English shadow speaking and to be able to shadow me and practice your speaking as you go through these. That's what I'm going to do. The stories, when I go through with the vocabulary, they're more than three hours long. This video, less than 20 minutes long. Just to make sure, I asked a question to you in a community poll to see what you really wanted. And it was very clear what you want. <laughs> Those of you that voted, over 90% of you said, hey, we want the long video with the stories and all of the deep learning vocabulary. More than three hours of video. We want that. Also, we want an option. We want to have a short video of just you presenting the three stories. You asked for it. Now, here it is. I'm going to go through and read only the three stories. This is not me reading it the first time. I'm sitting down with the same shirt on and I'm going to read and present these stories to you again. When you shadow me and use your English shadow practice, speak with feeling like I speak with feeling. Okay, here we go. Let's do this. Once upon a time in a busy city, there was a small coffee shop named The Morning Brew. This coffee shop was owned by a man named Tom. Tom's coffee shop was not just any ordinary place. It was a hub for local business professionals. They all loved to start their day with Tom's special coffee and a quick chat with friends. However, not everything was perfect. Despite the popularity, Tom noticed that his sales were not growing. He wondered why. One day, while serving coffee, he overheard a conversation between two customers, Sarah and Mike. They were discussing how they wished the coffee shop offered a quiet space for quick meetings. This got Tom thinking. He realized that while his coffee was good, he was missing something important, understanding what his customers truly wanted. The next day, 
Tom decided to talk to his customers directly. He asked them what they liked about his coffee shop and what could be better. The feedback was eye-opening. Many customers expressed the same need for a quiet space as Sarah and Mike did. Inspired by this feedback, Tom made a bold decision. He rearranged a part of his coffee shop to create a cozy, quiet corner for meetings. He also introduced a new express meeting combo, a quick service that included coffee and snacks. Perfect for business discussions. The changes were a hit. Word spread quickly among the business community. More and more professionals started coming to the morning brew, and not just for the coffee but for the convenience of having a great place to meet. Tom's sales began to soar, but he didn't stop there. He kept talking to his customers, always looking for ways to improve. He introduced some high-speed internet connections, added more power outlets, and even started a loyalty program. Months passed, and the morning brew became more than just a coffee shop. It became a symbol of how listening to customers and adapting to their needs can lead to success. Tom was proud of what he had achieved, but knew that the real heroes of his success story were his customers. One day, during a local business gathering, Tom was invited to share his story. Standing in front of a room full of entrepreneurs, Tom began, Good evening, everyone. My story is about a little coffee shop that could. It's about understanding that success in business is not just about having a good product. It's about listening, adapting, and always putting your customers first. As business professionals, we often get caught up in numbers and strategies, but at the heart of every successful business are the people we serve. My journey with the Morning Brew taught me the importance of customer feedback. It showed that sometimes the most valuable insights come not from market research, but from the conversations we have every day. Tom concluded, to all the entrepreneurs here, my advice is simple. Never underestimate the power of listening to your customers. It might just be the key to unlocking your next big opportunity. Thank you. The room erupted in applause. Tom's simple but powerful message resonated with everyone. It was a reminder that in the fast-paced world of business, taking the time to listen and connect with customers on a personal level can lead to unexpected and rewarding paths to success. And so, the morning brew continued to flourish a testament to the power of understanding and meeting customer needs. Tom's stories spread far and wide, inspiring other business professionals to adopt a customer-first approach to their ventures. In the end, Tom's journey wasn't just about transforming a coffee shop. It was about discovering the heart of business success, building genuine connections, and ensuring customer satisfaction. And that, dear friends, is the story of The Morning Brew, a small coffee shop that achieved big dreams by listening to its customers. Great. Now that was the basic English level. I want you to climb the fluency ladder with me from the basic English level to the advanced level. Here is the advanced level story. Nestled among the hustle and bustle of a vibrant metropolis was the Morning Brew, a quaint yet pivotal coffee shop owned by a gentleman named Tom. This establishment wasn't just a place to grab your morning caffeine fix. It was a sanctuary for the city's business professionals, a locale where they convened to kickstart their day with robust conversations over Tom's signature blends. Yet, Despite its popularity, Tom observed the sluggishness in sales, a puzzle that left him perplexed. It was during a routine day, amidst the aroma of freshly brewed coffee, that Tom stumbled upon a conversation that would pivot the trajectory of the morning brew. 
Sarah and Mike, two regulars, were lamenting the lack of a tranquil space for impromptu business meetings. This revelation was a light bulb moment for Tom. He realized his oversight and not fully grasping his clientele's needs. Determined, Tom embarked on a mission the following day, engaging in candid conversations with his patrons. The feedback was revealing. A common thread emerged. The desire for a serene meeting space. Fueled by this insight, Tom undertook a transformative initiative. He reimagined a section of his shop into a serene nook designed for discussions and introduced an express meeting combo, a hand-picked offering of coffee and snacks tailored for the business community. The initiative was a resounding success propelling the morning brew into the limelight within the professional circles. The shop burgeoned, transforming into not just a coffee haven, but a beacon of convenience for business get-togethers. Tom's ingenuity didn't stop there. He continued to reiterate based on customer feedback, incorporating Wi-Fi, augmenting the space with ample power outlets, and rolling out a loyalty program further cementing his shop's reputation. As the morning brew evolved, it became emblematic of how attentiveness to customer feedback and agility in business strategies foster success. Proud yet humble, Tom acknowledged that the cornerstone of his success was the invaluable insights from his patrons. The local business community took notice, and soon... Tom was invited to share his journey at a gathering of entrepreneurs. Addressing a room of peers, Tom began. Good evening, esteemed colleagues. My narrative today revolves around a modest coffee shop that dared to listen, adapt, and thrive. It underscores the essence of business, the profound impact of nurturing a customer-centric ethos. He continued. In our pursuit of growth and innovation, let's not overlook the fundamental principle that our enterprises are ultimately about serving people. The Morning Brew's transformation from just another coffee shop to a cornerstone of the business community exemplifies the power of engaging with and responding to the needs of our clientele. Concluding his talk, Tom imparted, To all aspiring and established entrepreneurs here, I leave you with this thought. The essence of business success lies in the value we provide to our customers. Let's commit to fostering an environment where listening is just as critical as leading. Thank you. The audience's response was a testament to the resonance of Tom's message. It served as a moving reminder that in the dynamic realm of business, success is intricately tied to our ability to connect with and understand the needs of those we serve. The Morning Brew thrived, a testament to the transformative power of customer feedback. Tom's narrative inspired a wave of entrepreneurs to adopt a more listener-oriented approach in their ventures. In essence, Tom's odyssey with the morning brew was not merely about the evolution of a coffee shop, but a lesson in the fundamental tenets of business success, empathy, adaptability, and the enduring value of customer satisfaction. Great. That was the advance level. Now join me again as we climb the fluency ladder from the advanced level to the eloquent level. Here is the eloquent level. In the vibrant tapestry of a bustling metropolitan landscape, there lies the Morning Brew, a quaint coffee shop that transcended its initial purpose to become a nexus for the city's business elite. Presided over by Tom, a visionary entrepreneur, This establishment carved a unique niche in the hearts of its patrons, not merely as a purveyor of exquisite coffee, but as a pivotal gathering point for dynamic discourse amongst professionals. However, amidst its burgeoning popularity, 
Tom confronted a bewildering challenge, the stagnation of sales. It was during an ordinary day, amidst the rich symphony of espresso machines and the subtle hum of networking professionals, that an inadvertent eavesdrop on a conversation between Sarah and Mike illuminated the path forward. They expressed a longing for a tranquil space, conducive to spontaneous business engagements within the coffee shop's lively ambiance. The insight served as a call to action for Tom. With a renewed sense of purpose, he embarked on a journey of transformation, grounded in direct engagement with his clientele. The insights garnered were illuminating, revealing a unanimous desire for a serene, enclave for professional rendezvous. Armed with this knowledge, Tom initiated a strategic pivot, reconfiguring a section of the morning brew into an oasis of tranquility, perfectly tailored for business meetings. He introduced the express meeting combo, a meticulously curated offering that catered to the needs of his discerning clientele, blending efficiency with the artisanal quality of his coffee. This strategic overhaul catapulted the morning brew into a new echelon of relevance within the professional community, transforming it from a mere coffee shop into a seminal hub for business collaboration. Tom's relentless pursuit of excellence didn't wane. He continually refined his offerings based on customer feedback, integrating technological amenities like Wi-Fi, augmenting accessibility with additional power outlets, and introducing a loyalty scheme to reward patronage. As the morning brew flourished, it became emblematic of this symbiotic relationship between customer-centric innovation and business success. Tom's humility in acknowledging his clientele as the linchpin of his success story resonated deeply within the business community. The narrative of transformation and success culminated in an invitation for Tom to share his insights at a prestigious gathering of entrepreneurs. Addressing his peers, Tom articulated, Esteemed colleagues, tonight I share with you a narrative of not just personal triumph, but of the transformative power of listening and adapting to our clientele. The Morning Brew stands as a testament to the ethos that our businesses thrive on the bedrock of understanding and meeting the needs of those we serve. In summary, the Morning Brew's evolution from a conventional coffee shop into a beacon of business innovation and collaboration underscores a universal truth in the realm of business. Success is inextricably linked to our capacity to listen, adapt, and continually strive to exceed the expectations of those we serve. Tom's journey illuminates the path for aspiring entrepreneurs, showcasing that at the heart of every successful venture lies a profound commitment to customer satisfaction and engagement. Fantastic. Thank you for joining me in this journey. (laughs) You can find in the description below the links to the stories, and also the link to episode one, the other episodes that also exist on my YouTube channel, and a way to download not only the stories, but also the vocabulary. I want you to go through and practice your English shadowing speaking. Use this as a great opportunity to speak with me, to shadow me, to use this for English shadow speaking experience. Please use these stories and really build your confidence. It really works. I hope you enjoy this. I look forward to hearing your comments. Please like this video, subscribe to the channel, share your comments, and I also invite you to learn your business English confidence score. You'll find the link in the description below this video.